Rachel, I knew this was a slippery he slope. He said one cup. That is enough coffee for both of us. He said one cup. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on Couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time Joe takes away a, an appropriate amount of coffee from me, you'll be alerted to it. He said one cup. It was one cup. It was one cup. It was all contained in one cup. It had a handle. It had a handle, so it's a coffee cup. Really? Really? That cup filled both of these. It filled them both. Actually, it filled them both, and there's some left. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough left. Good morning, family. It's day 10 wow. on the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. Can I just like double high five? Double high five? We made it to double digits. We made it to double digits. I have had a couple of times where I wanted a soda. As a matter of fact, yesterday we were driving home from the mall and both of us were like, we are so thirsty. And I'm like, okay, at this point... If I see a fountain, I'm buying a fountain soda. But no, we found you got, water. You got we water. Got water. I, was so I walked proud. in and I came out. I'm like, I'm going to stick to this. Here's and the thing. I got a water. But it's so hard when you have to pay $3 for a bottle of water or 99 cents for a fountain soda. If you want to do the right thing and yeah. you're asking the Lord for help, mm -hmm. he's going to show up and help you if you mean business. Now, there's many times where I'm like, Lord, I want to do right. And and he knew I did not mean a word I was saying, right? right? Like, Lord, I just, I want to be healthier. I want to grow me some muscles. And he's like, you ain't getting off the couch. You yeah. ain't trying to grow no muscles. So, but when you're ready to do something, he helps. I feel great. Yes. We're eating more meals, but smaller meals. And I want to clarify something. We're seeing a lot of comments like, I don't understand this whole thing of <laughs> you're, you're eating more times in feeling bad, and if you're not hungry, why are you doing that? That's not why we're feeling bad. The reason we're feeling bad is because it's been ingrained in our heads. It's a guiltiness over eating multiple times a day. Right, it, especially on keto. I mean, you heard it before. I mean, I remember years ago, I was like, you should eat five to eight times a day because right. that's gonna keep your metabolism. Then you get on keto and all you hear is the only real way to do keto is with intermittent fasting. Right. And you should only eat either 18-6 or 24 or OMAD it. Right. Well, and when, as we've done this for a couple of years now, it's like if you're getting better, you should be having a smaller window and a smaller window. And I have tried to OMAD every single thing that I'm supposed to eat in a one hour window because, hey, I've been doing this for a long time. And I'm right. supposed to be really awesome at that. And I definitely felt like, talk about diet fatigue. Yeah. That, that really wore me out. Something that Kim Howerton talked about. And then we started doing research and finding out that, you know what, intermittent fasting every day or OMADing every day is probably not a good idea because our body likes change because when you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, your body adapts, like right. slowing down metabolism, or if you're OMADing, most likely you're not getting enough protein in, you're not getting enough nutrition, now your metabolism slows down that way. And then wham, Dr. Barry comes along and goes, no, you're gonna eat as many times as you want, and as much as you want, but only of beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. And so it has been, we feel guilty because again, four years of being told, you can't eat breakfast. You yeah. should be stopping eating at eight o'clock and your first meal shouldn't be until at least noon to two o'clock. Right. And now all of a sudden we're eating breakfast. That's why we feel bad. We're not eating more than we're hungry for. You As a matter guilty. of fact, we're, I think I feel like we're eating less and it's it's freaking us out, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely something that we have to wrap our minds around. Mm -hmm. We've got to deal with our food hangups. We definitely have more addiction 
food hang up issues than I even thought we did. Yeah. Like I definitely thought that I would be able to eat breakfast and not feel guilty about it. That right. that's a that's a bizarre thing. So I think it's important for us to do this challenge because again, is there a fence around stuff? Yes. The difference is the fence is around the ingredients. The fence is not around the times of day. I'm enjoying this and I definitely see us not not ever having a Zip Fizz or never having a Zevi or never having a Nola bar, but appropriately putting it in its place instead of where I allowed it for at least myself to get and really getting back to focusing on beef, butter, butter bacon, eggs, and chicken and seafood and that kind of stuff. But right now we're just doing those. But I'm realizing, wow, Joe, you were probably no kidding, not even exaggerating. If you want to get into calories, I was probably eating 600 to 1,000 calories a day of cheese. Well, no, I because I know every time, and I'm proving to myself, you know what, Joe, You're, it's okay to like cheese, but in an appropriate amount. Well, and you don't need it to live. Right. And when we open things back up and we start incorporating cheese and nuts and, you know, flax crackers or whatever back into our daily diet... Now we're not going to have that same protocol of like eat as many times as you want because right. that is that's a different type of food. Right. So I probably will not be eating, you know, five times a day if my time to eat is going to be like, okay, let me go take this jar of, of nuts and nothing else yeah. and go into the room because this is my time of day that's to snack. That's not the appropriate food. Exactly. So I need to be leading with my protein even as I go, you know, back and expand what all we're eating. Not so good news we got some of our labs back and we're going to share some of those later on in this video and uh i was a little shocked at some of my numbers i i i was very shocked i i definitely thought that some of the numbers like that i had would be ones that you had instead i don't know if i think that like girls are daintier or yeah. something so there's some pretty shocking results so we have a bunch to do, including you're going to be premiering our uh, day eight? Day eight. Because we're a day behind. We're a day behind. So today we're going to be doing day eight and two day and nine. Two. And then when you guys see this, we'll be right back on schedule with a morning video of some of our pre-recorded videos and interviews from Keto Palooza, and then the afternoon being the vlog. Uh, do you want to know about our day? Because I know you're like, what are we doing? And yeah, I'm like, what not are telling we doing? you. You've been really shady about well, it. Well, I'm telling you on camera so that now you have to do it. So we're going to premiere the live stream. You're going to do your your church Zoom meeting. call. After that, you're going to get in the shower. Okay. After that, you're going to go get your nails done because you don't want to treat yourself. So I have to tell you on camera because now everybody tomorrow is going to be expecting to see new nails. Dang it. So you're going to get your nails done. Okay. Then... We're going on a date day to the Sawgrass Mall because we haven't been there in a while okay. and we haven't had a lot of time to do any kind of date days. I don't have a game today. I have a game Thursday, uh, Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to Universal Studios with Anthony. Friday, I have games. Saturday, I have games. So today is date today day. Today is the day. So, and then somewhere in there, we're going to eat. But now, you like that? You have to get your nails done because they're going to want to see what your nails look like. Whoa. Hello. Beef, butter, bacon, and egg is a green with Rachel. Can we just say hello to pants I have not been able to get my butt into in this decade? They have not seen Wow. 2019 was the last time I could get in them. And usually when something like that happens, I'm like, get rid of it. I, I don't want to see it. Um, but I actually paid money for them. It was like $20 for the jeans instead of my usual thrift store thing. So I'm like, I'm holding on to them and maybe one day I can wear them again. I didn't even have to get on the bed and like fly on and hold on to my mean, zipper. I missed the jump and, oh, no jump. that was no, always the best part of my morning. No pliers needed <laughs> to get my pants on. I can go to the restroom if I need to and not just like hold it for days. Okay, so, yeah. we, we need a slow spin here. Wow. Wow, you look amazing. Okay, now, I do want to say, for the last couple days, you'll be going, I don't think this is working. I feel like I'm gaining weight. 
I feel maybe I'm eating too much butter. All of it. All, all of it, right? You're like, I don't know. I have a feeling that something's not going to be. I'm, I'm going to be really disappointed at the end. And you're wearing jeans you haven't worn in two years. Exactly. So something is happening. We are a week into this. And I'm able to get into some clothes I have not been able to wear for the last two years. So that's really exciting. Also, um, we're supposed to be able to get our nails done every, every three weeks. Three weeks. Let me see. And I don't think I'm going to last. We're exactly at three weeks. Or, I'm sorry, at focus. two. We're oh, there we go. We are exactly at two. Oh my gosh, look at how much growth you two have. Two weeks. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get my nails done before they look really bad next week. Yeah, no, you look amazing. You know what's really interesting? I'm looking at our shades, and I know we just dusted two days yes. ago. This is cat hair. Cat hair, hair, Florida. Just the amount of dust in Florida. That's why I have to clean the filter in that air conditioner over your head so often. Do I miss jalapeno poppers? Yes. Oh, yes. Do I miss sweeteners? Yes. But if I have to have a trade-off between the momentary pleasure of as many jalapeno poppers as we were consuming. Right. And how I feel right now being able to wear the clothes that I purchased, I, I'm gonna take this. Okay, here's what I wanna say about that. Are we gonna reintroduce those things at some point? Absolutely. Yes. We're also gonna put them in their place. But what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna, when we're done with this, and we have three more weeks. Right. We're gonna slowly reintroduce things and see what affects us, which is one of the cool things about doing the beef butter bacon egg or any type of restrictive thing for a couple of weeks like an egg fast or a beef and butter fast or a keto chow fast because now you slowly introduce instead of what do we normally do okay diet's over let's go back to eating three times the amount of food let's go back to eating everything let's go back to exactly how we were before because i reached my goal that will be the same results and you're going to get back to right where you were so we'll, we'll when we get ready and we're done with this will have a little bit of Zevia, not 128 ounce Diet Coke. And it's not just the possible weight gain. Right. It's also- How do you feel? I don't want insta crappy feeling. Right. So we say that if you're doing an, inter if you're doing an intermittent fast, right. or you're doing an extended fast, like mm -hmm. 24, 48 hours, you, you are inclined to want to break your fast with a giant meal. And what do we say? Don't do that. Right. You're gonna feel terrible. So that's why we always have our bone broth um, to, to break up a fast before you dig into to food. If you go right back to everything you ate before without slowly reintroducing and thinking about, you know what it is? It's just another form of binge and purge. Yes. Right? right now, you're kind of purging. You're getting everything out. And then you go back to, I'm going to go back to eating 12 ounces of cheese a day. Well, now I'm going to binge. And then what's going to happen? I'm going to have to purge again. So we have to learn to put food in its place figure out what works well with us, what doesn't work. I'd be very sad if I found out cheese doesn't work well at all for me. But again, I think that it's not the cheese, it's the overdoing of the cheese. It's not the heavy cream, it's the overdoing of the heavy cream. Well, and I have to have some success mm -hmm. in, in my change of body composition in order for me to make an educated decision as to is this worth it or not. Right. If I'm not seeing any change in my pants, no change in body composition, then in that moment, I really am living in the moment, you know, saying like, no, the like I want all of this food right now because I haven't had any success to measure right. it against. Like, is it worth it to put down this particular food that I know, you know, sends me down a rabbit hole, but I'm going to remember the feeling of being in pants I have not been able to wear for two years. And when I approach food, I'm approach it a little differently. Except for what our labs say. I feel like one of those 50s or 60s ladies that, you know, the husband is dropping his wife off at the hairdresser. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come back with something really hot. Okay, so I just came in from the grill. The dog is in the pool. Good job. I know. I got some new nails. I... <laughs> We are ready for fall, officially. Okay, bring I'm so on glad you're treating yourself. The cooler weather. I'm ready. Are you ready to eat? Yes. Oh 
Oh. That looks so yummy. So now how do you shut this whole thing down? Well, you want to preserve the charcoal in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut this down. You want to get it down around 400 degrees or so, which it's at. We're going to close this all the way off. That stops airflow this way. And then down here, we close that all the way off. And that's basically going to choke out all the oxygen. So all the flames are going to go out and we're going to be left with charcoal which we can then reuse on the next cook. You just put some fresh charcoal on top of it and you just keep going until everything turns to ash. And down here, there's a clean out for it. That's pretty cool because I thought we were going to go through a ton of charcoal. No, that's what the benefit of using this lump charcoal. You can keep going until there's just nothing left. We got burgers. I got a few smash burgers with have mustard on it, which people ask, why am I doing the mustard? Because you get this nice crust on it. Also, it stops it from sticking to the soapstone. And then we got some on the other side of the just grilled because the kids don't really like the mustard ones. They also, they want them like medium to medium well, whereas Rachel uh -uh. and I, medium rare. I am really enjoying having the extra counter space. I know we've only had this for a day. I am so afraid that Joe is gonna gum it up with more small appliances. No appliances. Hopefully we can keep it nice like this because it creates a really fun prep area. I already put the oil on it, so it already looks a lot better. It's it not does. all dry from being like inside of, you know, an air conditioned mall. But I'm really liking it like this because yeah, we could put our food out and I could just put more appliances around the outside counters. So how might we clean this thing? Well, you can take it apart, but there's a much easier way. Okay, I like the easy way. What's the easy way? Take that. Okay. Wipe it down. You mean just like wipe, just, just. like this? Nah. -uh. <laughs> Why would I want to take it apart every time? Is that not, look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that not awesome? <sighs> Caleb is loving it. This is is gonna make me super happy. So we're doing the bacon and stuff. Anything smelly goes outside, but this doesn't really heat up the house. So it's great for the eggs because look at those perfect eggs. They're perfect. And I mean, they're too runny for me if I'm just eating eggs. Yeah, but, but the, that's the sauce for your burger. That's the sauce for the burger, then it's, then it's allowable. Thank you. No, I am not trying to sneak in another cup of coffee. This is I'm just, just water. Ask you. But I left my thingy in the car, so thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and try these. I'm way ahead of you. They're they're delicious. Are they? Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's that's the perfect yolk. You don't want I don't want an overly runny yolk on my burger. Just enough to Raw. give this a little bit of sauce. Mmm. Mm. Perfect hook. That's so good. Yeah, look at you. Take the Take the burger. I turn my entire egg upside down. Let the yolk, you know, let gravity. It's a good idea. Do the saucing. Mmm. That is good. That is really good. So we're gonna finish eating. You started your date day. I'm gonna go. I got like five minutes left on the vlog. We're waiting for the phone call to your car. Yes. You haven't heard anything about I'm that. I'm ready yet. to have a car again. And then we're gonna go to the mall. Right. You don't appreciate a car until you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Well, our plans to go to Sawgrass Mills did not work out because it took a long time to get my car back. So we're going to turn this evening around by a trip to Bell's Outlet because there's always something to find at Bell's Outlet, home of the $16 Crocs. So what'd you get? I got some new sunglasses and three pairs of earrings that are kind of like wood, but I think they're fun for, you know, autumn time less than ten dollars how happy are you that we actually finished the mayonnaise recipe we did it if you're seeing this this recipe is already out yeah so if you're seeing this video this one got released this morning if you didn't see it link is up there everybody can stop here's what <laughs> took so long we had to get it right we wanted to make sure it was right every time i did it it was different it came out different and we wanted to make sure it was right for everybody yeah. it was kind of foolproof and so we kept trying different ingredients and different consistencies. Now, I am going to say it is thicker than regular mayonnaise. But as we say in the video, if you want a thing in our mayonnaise, all you need to do is put a little bit of water in. Just put a few drops of water in it and mix it around. It and that's going to thin it out. Because this, you can see, it's almost like icing. 
I don't mind it though. But it also has to go with how much you keep beating it. Like what, the first few times we did it, we didn't go very long and it was more like a really thick hollandaise sauce. I like it like this. I want it super spreadable. We're gonna spend our date night just eating mayonnaise. It's great on bread. It's great on- Hamburgers. The hamburgers. Steaks. Hot dogs. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's really, really good. I'm, I'm like so happy. We said in the video, I and it really does taste like regular mayonnaise. It took us a while to really get the right flavor profile so that I it tastes like mayonnaise. like the price point. I think it's going to save less people a lot of money. Less than $2. Yeah. This this thing here costs less than 2 bucks. No inflammation. And, and, and you can do it even cheaper. If you use really cheap eggs, like a dollar a dozen eggs, right. you're talking about like a dollar and a quarter to make a batch of mayonnaise. How awesome is that? So um, we are going to do date night. The, the the whole go to the mall got scrapped because we had to wait for Rachel's car. My car. And then I wanted to go tomorrow. Sometime I need to go to the mall this week because we're going to the Keys on Sunday. Yeah. And I need new sunglasses. Yes. And that's one of the reasons I want to go to the mall and I want to take you to the Disney store, which is why I want to go to the Sawgrass Mall. I'm all about it. So that I don't know when we're going to go. Maybe Friday when we get, depends on when we get home from Orlando, because the plan is go to Orlando Thursday night and then, or Thursday, stay over Thursday night and then get up in the morning and come home because Anthony and I, ha I do have a football game on Friday night, which reminds me, don't forget, if you are seeing this on the day it's released, which is Wednesday, our Thursday night live stream is actually playing tonight yeah. on Wednesday. And also, if you're participating in this, you're going to get a little hint. Next Thursday, Dr. Ken Berry is going to come on our live stream. How fun is that? We're going to talk about our halfway point of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge since he's the one who inspired us to do it. We're also going to talk about this. Yeah, our labs. We got our labs. Should we tell them what our labs are? Because I was a little shocked when I saw these labs. I was very shocked. I was glad that we got them done. I'm happy. You're happy? I'm very happy. I think most doctors, if they saw these labs, they're going to be like, you're dead tomorrow. I, I'm serious. Who, you want to start with me? I'll yeah, start, start with, with me. Start with you. Okay. Since mine are worse. Where are we going to start? Cholesterol? Yeah. We want to start with... We want to start with, how about we start with something not so shocking? Okay. So, we here's what we got. We got a lipid profile. Next time we're going to get the full lipid, like find out what our LDLA, LDLB is. Uh, Dr. Barry is going to have us do a few extra tests for the final. Um, but got to study up for this. We got our complete... Uh, we got a, full, a lipid panel of our cholesterol, our triglycerides, our HDL, our LDL. We also got our A1C, and then we got our glucose, and we got our insulin. So we're going to start off with my glucose, fasting glucose. Now keep in mind, we got up at 6.45 in the morning, and we were getting tested at 7.30. So you do have a dawn phenomenon in there, generally about a half hour, 45 minutes to an hour after you get up. A lot of times your glucose is elevated. I generally find mine goes up about 10 points and then drops back down somewhere around nine o'clock. So my fasting glucose was 90. Uh, we started fasting, um, I wanna say about nine o'clock, 9.30, something yeah. like that. Um, maybe a little bit earlier. I was gonna say maybe a little earlier than that. So my fasting glucose was 90. My hemoglobin A1C is 5.2. And my insulin is 4.1. Uh, if you're looking for a reference, a good glucose would be 65 to 99. So you're right in there. A good hemoglobin A1C would be less than 5.7. So great job. And a insulin would be le greater than or less than or equal to 19.6. So how about 4.1? So I'm at 4.1. Okay. So going by all those numbers, I'm not pre-diabetic. Good to know. Thank you, Lord. Considering I was four years ago. Yeah. For all I know, I was diabetic four years ago. There was no way I was going to go to a doctor four years ago and have him tell me I was a diabetic. That was like, that was as big of a fear for me as seeing 300 on the scale, yep. right? To be told that you're a diabetic. Right. So, uh, 
You want to do yours or you want to go to the other numbers? Go to your other number so they have the full reference of you and okay. then me. And, and then you. Okay. Here's where a doctor is going to tell me I'm going to be dead tomorrow. Okay. My total cholesterol is 348. That's the scary number. 348. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care at all. There's nothing wrong with having a 348 cholesterol. My... LDL is 267. Now let's keep in mind that they actually say if your total cholesterol is over 200, Not good. you've got some problems. No bueno. My LDL is 267. My, uh, let's see, where's my HDL is 65. And for a man, it should be greater than or equal to 40. So I've got a good HDL. But you got all these big red marks like, oh my, oh my gosh, goodness. you're in trouble. That number's scary. Um, here's the thing. You know what? If we talk about remnant cholesterol. We're going to talk to Dr. Barry next week about what is remnant cholesterol. But there's more and more studies now that say remnant cholesterol and your triglycerides is really the best indication of cardiovascular disease and, and if you're going to have some issues uh my remnant cholesterol is 16 which is pretty low that is the cholesterol that has no job that they're doing right yeah now. it's it, it's kind of a complicated explanation so i want to let dr barry really talk about it um but it's basically cholesterol that's not bound to either hdl or ldl it's the stuff left over it's usually very highly concentrated and so you want to keep that number low and everything I'm reading in 16. some of the studies, they're saying like, you want to have it down like under 25, we're at 16. So I'm really happy about that. My triglycerides, by the way, a healthy triglyceride would be less than 150. I'm at 62. So, uh, we did send these to Dr. Barry and he's like, you've got really good numbers. He, which is, he was very happy to see is, these it's numbers. It's good to have a doctor that knows what he's looking at because, right. you know, you have a doctor that's not looking yeah. for those things and, and you're going to you're gonna get yelled at. Right. Right? So it's good to know that you can go over to Dave Feldman's website, the cholesterol code, and you're going to be like, okay, I, I'm good. Now, the average doctor who doesn't understand cholesterol and is still in belief of, you know, like, hey, no saturated fat and like meat going to cause cancer, they're going to freak over these numbers. But look at my triglycerides. My triglycerides are at a 62. My insulin's at a 4.1. So we talk about the scale being the devil. And if everything else in your life is good, but the scale doesn't have the number, who cares? I'm thankful for these Let's numbers. look at all of my other markers. They're excellent. But just according to some doctors, they're going to not like that total cholesterol. But when you look at everything else, I'm Makes great. Sense. And I feel awesome. And I don't have high blood pressure. So I'm not worried. So I feel awesome. But let's see what my numbers say. Okay. Are we starting off with what? Start where you started. Oh, you want to start off. So Rachel's fasting glucose. Again, probably had the dawn phenomenon in there, but we wanted to be able to go home and have coffee. Was 86. Her hemoglobin A1C is 4.8. 4.8. And her fasting insulin is 1.7. I was blown away. 1.7. So definitely not pre diabetic. And we know for a fact that she was pre-diabetic and almost diabetic because of tests she had long before keto when she was seeing well, stars and stuff. And even clear back to when I was pregnant with Caleb, I had gestational diabetes with him. Okay. Now let's get into your cholesterol. Can we have a drum roll? <laughs> Rachel's total cholesterol is 409. More than double. Nine. I what beat most you. People, you beat me. You beat I me. I win. Her uh, LDL cholesterol is 306. It's almost like my LDL beat you almost. I, she almost did. <laughs> it almost did. I'm so extra. And your, her HDL is 87. For a woman, it should be greater than or equal to 50. 
And once again, her remnant cholesterol is 16. 16. Okay. So then we're going to get into, again, the number that when we, again, we are not doctors or no. nurses or health professionals. So you said my, my triglycerides, you said? We didn't say that part oh, yet. Okay. So I just want to make sure everybody knows we're not doctors or health professionals. These are just or, our labs. These are our labs. We're telling you how we feel about our labs. If you are not comfortable with having a cholesterol at this number, speak to your medical professional. If your medical professional says, hey, I don't like you on this diet, but you feel much better, you might want opinion. to seek, seek out a different medical professional. Find somebody who is into the low carb or keto or carnivore or proper human diet, but that is a decision you have to make. After talking to medical professionals who understand this lifestyle, they're very happy with these numbers because they're like, the cholesterol doesn't mean anything. Your body will make cholesterol. Whether you eat it or not, your body needs cholesterol. That's why the remnant cholesterol is more important because that's the stuff that's not bound to anything. That's the stuff that's super high in the triglycerides. And again, we're gonna have Dr. Barry really talk about that because we are not medical professionals and he won't give you medical advice, but he's gonna tell you what he thinks about our numbers and stuff. And uh, so Rachel's triglycerides are a whopping... 57. 57. Yeah. So Amazing. good job. Thank you. We feel really good. I'm glad we did these. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave a link. We are not affiliated with Ultra Lab Test or Ultra Lab Test. Now, we did reach out to them today and said, hey, is there any way you could put a package where, you know, like if someone wants it, they can just go click a button for two crazy ketos and give them a discount. Right. And because there is coupon codes everywhere, but just like here's a discount, not for us making money or anything, but um, where you can go, here's the test that we got. So we're going to be talking to them. But right now, just go to the link down below. I actually listed what tests that we got. And this is a great way to do it. Now, our next set of tests, we're going to add in a couple more things that Dr. Barry said, hey, let's take a look at these numbers just for fun. But he was super happy with these. But, and my mom had said, you know what? Like, it cost me more money to get these tests done through my, bucks. through my doctor than it is for me to do it this way. So yeah. she's like, I think I'm going to go that way. It was 60 bucks and or $62, and that included an $8 draw fee at Quest Lab. So yeah. they charged us 8 bucks to actually draw our blood. Super impressed. Let us know what are what are your thoughts of this? Are there any going to be what do you, what's the over under on comments of like oh my gosh look at that cholesterol? I think that I say fifty. I think if you mention at all in the title or anything our, our keto lab results, you're going to get people who are not keto really like you know putting right. tombstones next to their comments. I'm super happy and I feel good. So this was a confirmation for me because you have in four years, I have not gotten my blood work done. I have not gone, except for when I was sick and they just said, you're fine. Right. But I didn't, wasn't positive. Like, am I still pre-diabetic? Do I have a fatty liver disease and all of these numbers? And then when you go and start really plugging them into the different ratios, I'm in great health. I, it makes me feel really good at yeah. 45 and 50 that that we're continuing on the right track. So I'm happy about that. And we have something else. A couple people may have noticed. We got some new. We got some new bottles. swag, yeah. gear, things like that. I think we, we are down to just two of the blender bottles. And we probably will be ordering more. Um, but we're enjoying these because the blender bottles are nice. But they're not insulated on top. Yeah. So the ice does melt, not as fast as a regular blender bottle, but this really keeps it well, nice and cold. And I love pretty stuff, mm -hmm. so I'm all into pretty. And I think we found some really pretty ones. And we like both big containers and we like the skinny ones that fit into the cup holders. Yeah. So we got a little bit of both. Do you want to show them yep. what we got? So no obligation, but a no. lot of people have asked. We love these things. Um, we love the Keto Chow one. That's how we found out about them. So these are basically like hydro flasks. They really do hold ice for a long, a time. long time. Even down here in South Florida, I I'm still actually have the same ice in here from yesterday. Um, this is the wide mouth. So it's gonna come with the straw lid. So it comes with a straw lid like this. 
And then I think that they come with an extra straw and then there's some paperwork inside. Coupons and stuff. But you can go onto Amazon if you want like the coffee lid or something like that. Right. Um, I asked them about getting the second lid and the guy never answered me, but they're very cheap on Amazon. Yeah. They're like five to eight bucks. You can get any kind of lid you want if you want the spell, uh, the pop-up one, right. you want the twist one, whatever kind you want, but I'll leave a link for those down below. So here's what we got. So we've got some 22 ounce ones. These we've got four ones. different kinds. These will fit in your car cup holder. Mm -hmm. So we have this one here, um, which is, I forget what it's called. I look. think it's on the bottom yeah. actually. This one, I took this one off already. This one is called uh, Summit. No, that's, oh, the, no, name that's the name of this. So thing. we don't know. Well, because the box is in the other room. Yeah. So we'll it's, look it up. It'll be listed on the website. So right. we have that one there. Then we have this one here with the mountains. Then we have this one here, which kind of goes from like the pink to the teal kind of color. It's pretty. And then we have this blue which to I aqua love. one. And again, what it is is it's engraved 2KK up on top, and then down on the bottom it says Two Crazy Ketos. So these are going to be listed on our website. They will be available tomorrow morning when you're seeing this. So Thursday morning, which I think is the 30th. I think so. I think. I think it's the 30th. So Thursday morning, these will be available. We're going to put them up there. Listen, here's my thing. We were trying to figure out how much we paid for them. We're not trying to make a whole bunch of money. Um, but I don't know about you all. But I'm a free shipping guy. I don't I like, don't like going onto a website and saying, hey, this is $25. And when you go to check out, it's like $15 more for shipping. Right. So we're just adding the shipping flat in. Some states do charge sales tax. Kind of stinks. I know Florida's become one of those where you didn't have to pay sales tax. And now you do if you order from out of state. So the price on these is going to be $30 shipping included. Yeah. Okay. So, and it, and right i don't know if we can figure out how to do international right now so for now we can only ship here in the united states i'm going to look into at least being able to go into canada uh, i don't know how much the shipping is and i don't want anybody paying a ridiculous amount of shipping Me for a neither. blender bottle that says two crazy ketos on right. it. right so um so 30 dollars shipping included will be on the website on Thursday. But if you want more liquid. When we put out the questionnaire of should we get the 22 or the 32, lots of people said 32. So we got some of those too. So we did get those. The reason we chose to also get the 22 in is because I think a lot of people don't realize they don't fit in your car cup holder. Right. Like my truck, they fit in two of them, but not the other four. And Rachel's, they don't fit in any of them. No. So here's the four. This one just reminded me of Shauna when we I ordered it. I know. Right? So we I got just, purple to black. I'm just, I'm a purple girl. And so. oh, by the way, that one there, this one here, and this one here. It's almost like a matte. It's like a matte finish. Yeah. So you can see that these are matte, whereas these the are other ones are shiny. shiny. Okay, then we have this one here, which is just like a whole tree skyline. It says 2KK and 2 Crazy Ketos. This made me feel like camping. And uh, then we have this one. It's kind of like a skyline, but all with purple. And then we got the same one that we had in the 22 because I really like this well, one. Well, it's, it's actually the moon. Huh? It's like the surface of the moon. Oh, is it the surface yeah. of the moon? I just really, really, really it's like really this pretty. one. It's really pretty. So you can get it in either 22 or 32 ounce. And uh, these are going to be on the website. They will cost us a couple bucks more, so we're just passing that along. They will be $32, including shipping. Flat. So, so uh, hopefully you guys like them. We don't have a tremendous amount. We have like 12, 224. I think we have 12 of each of the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. And then I think we have 24 of the smaller ones. Except for the fact we've already taken a couple out. So Because I want them. Because you want them. <laughs> So that's going to be it. Um, like I said, we're, we're going to eat later, but we're going to close out this vlog. We will let you guys know in tomorrow morning's vlog what we eat for dinner. But again, Precisely. it's probably going to be just some hamburger and some uh, eggs. With mayonnaise on it. And with mayonnaise. And we are going to be keeping track of, all week long, we're keeping track of how much each one of these meals is costing us. So at the end of the week, we can go, okay. This is our grocery bill. This is what our grocery bill for the week is. 
The reason we're not going day by day and letting you guys know day by day is because like yesterday we had steaks. That's like a treat day. So if I just say, hey, today cost us 20 something dollars, people are going to freak out. So it's, I think that's how we all, most of us don't buy food every day. You I hope buy not. for the week. That's not very cost effective. Yeah. So you buy for the week and, and that's what it is. So we're doing a weekly budget and one day maybe 20 bucks and one day maybe $5. Yeah. So. so. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.